Hi friends, welcome back to Stitch House Creations. I'm Tammy, and today I have a few things to share with you. So recently, I got an acquisition, and it was this um, Yarnby Scrubology um, Scrub It yarn. It's something, I have never tried this before. And so I bought a couple of skeins of these and I wanted to make some dish scrubbies. So I was, this is a nice size. This is just like the right size. I made, this one's a little bigger and this one, but I made, oh, I made a slightly over four. Depending on the size, you could probably get five you know out of this it depends on the size that you want um want to make those with but i got four nice size ones and i had a little extra so i can just blend it in with the orange later if i wanted to and then um the doctor who scarf that you seen last time that's still in progress although i have it all crocheted I just have to put the tassels on the ends and when I get that done I'll share that with you but recently I was invited to a baby shower and um, this one came up on me really quick so I was hustling to get a baby project done so we didn't know if this was a boy or a girl and um, I just want to show you because we don't know if it's a boy or girl. I decided to go with a gender gender neutral and like the yellows. You'll see the yellows in the or whites and greens and the bright yellow. I made this. I was thinking, um, like sunshine. You are my sunshine. You know that little song. So I made a little sunshine applique here. And so I didn't want it predominantly too much of one color. And it's nice and thick and heavy. And what I used was um, Pipsqueak yarn, the Brene, Brene Pipsqueak yarn. And let's see. And then I used a regular um, it was a red heart yarn, but it was this lighter, oops, this lighter color, like this light yellow creamish color for, um, and I crocheted those two together and it came up very quickly. I didn't have a lot of time to put this together, but with, here's the, actually I'm making another one, a, another one, but using a, finer yarn. Here's the, this, it was Brene Pipsqueak. And, um, and then I just crocheted it with another yarn. So this is very thin. And then I just used, um, I used just a regular four ply. That makes our worsted weight, that makes it really thick. Nice for winter time. This baby's not going to be born for just a little bit yet. And it'll be perfect for around winter time for the for the little boy, little girl that's on the way. So with that, I always like to toss in, you know, make something else with it. So with that, I made I made a this is big. I made a sunshine pillow. Yes, to go with the sunshine blanket. So. Um, it's going to be a set, you know, probably nice for the baby's room. My husband thought it would make a good frisbee. I could actually see people playing with it like that. So, <laughs> but anyway, I just think it turned out really cute and, um, got that got those completed today and I just wanted to take a few minutes to share those with you um, the yarn stuff that I got going on I have more works in progress and things I'm trying to 
go back through and get things done that I haven't completed, that are works in progress that need to be worked on. That way I don't have so many projects looming around. I have lots of projects looming around, but I also have, you know, I don't know if you have this challenge too, but I'm like, okay, I have Christmas, I have baby showers, I have um, the projects that I want to work on that are just sitting here. So I'm trying to weed those out some and to uh, pare things down get things figured out. What am I, what am I just going to frog? What am I just going to say, okay, let's get this done. So just something to evaluate because, um, when it comes to yarn, it's like you get this good idea and I don't know about you, but I, I really tend to do this. I'm like, Oh, I want to make that. So I make it or I, start making it and then I see something else that I want to make or something is coming up that I need to make something for so my attention gets drawn to that then I have the other thing just sitting in a bag or just waiting to be worked on so yeah so pretty soon I'm going to decide what needs to be frogged what needs to continue to be worked on and go from go from there just to get the I don't ever want to say the yarn clutter yarn you know just to get things cleaned up so those are what I have to share with you today I want to say thank you for joining me for those of you who have stuck around to the end I'll give you an update my dad is home he was in the hospital again for internal bleeding um, I don't remember if that's what I told you last time. He's been in the hospital like five times since the beginning of end of March, beginning of April. So it's been really hard for me to keep track of things. But he had internal bleeding recently and um, he's back home. He's doing okay. And, um, and uh, things are stable right now. So praise God for that. And uh, he does have, he has asked for one prayer request. Now my daughter is getting married pretty soon. And he, his, he's praying that he will be here for that. So if you could keep that in your prayers and prayer for our family as um, things are moving along and progressing and our family is excitedly growing um that would be awesome but thank you so much i pray that you have a blessed day a great weekend and i'll see you again soon thanks for stopping in god bless